Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and today I want to chat with you guys a little bit about what I would consider to be the equipment people really need at this point. If you wanted to run Conjugate at home, let's say that you're on a tight budget, and yes, I think you should all be running Conjugate once you finish most of your novice phase. And by novice phase, I don't mean that you even have to hit my projected numbers. You spend one year running any good novice template, you finish your novice phase. Okay. I think that you could go into conjugate from there. Now, people who have minimal equipment are usually going to be, you have one good barbell, you probably have enough weight plates to deadlift, you have a rack and you have a bench. Okay, let's say you have that and you literally have nothing else other than maybe a few bands to do some small work with. Could you successfully run conjugate with a little bit of other equipment? Yes. How much would I price that other equipment at? Approximately $170. What would you need? You would need a bench block like this, which is about $70, and a stack of those EVA foam, one inch thick EVA foams. That's EVA foam. And I use the one inch thick ones, okay? What does this give you? This gives you pretty much everything that you need. It gives you everything that you need to run conjugate. Why? Well, look at the bench block. Look how many different exercises that gives you. With that bench block, you have five different heights of board presses, right? But that one might be the two board, might be the smallest. So it might only be four different heights. I would need to actually check it. it. Might only be four, but I believe it's five. You have five different board presses. You have the flat bench, you have the closed grip bench press, you have the floor press, and you have the closed grip floor press. This is without owning a single specialty bar or a single chain right? That's nine different max effort bench press exercises that you can rotate through. It means you can run a whole nine week sequence of those and max on them separately. Will that work? You bet it will. You don't need any of the other stuff for speed work. You can do speed work with raw weight if you're, you're intelligent about it. Hey, okay, that covers all your benching. Well, what about supplemental work? You can do plenty of tricep exercises with the straight bar. How about the JM press? JM press on the bench, flat JM press. You can do closed grip benching. You can do board presses. You can do floor presses. You can do overhead pressing if you have to. All of your pressing supplemental work can be handled with just that stuff. Grab a set of bands and you could do band push-ups if you had to. Again, supplemental work. It's all there. That's all you need. That bench block gives you a tremendous amount of variation. You could even do all your upper back work with this stuff. We have pen lay rows. You could do inverted rows down with a rack. And that's assuming you don't even have chin ups uh, or a chin up bar. And you probably do have a chin up bar if you have a rack or you can get a cheap little bar to do chins or pull ups. All right, that's tons of low back exercises. Get one set of bands. One set of bands, and you can now do face pulls. You don't need a full band set. You just need a good band, a couple of bands. You can do face pulls. You do tricep press downs. You do band curls. You have a lot of variation. A lot of variation. All right, let's come over to those pads. Why that EVA foam? Well, it'll take seven, 800 pounds of weight easily. You can do box squats. All right, the box squat is our bread and butter. That is the bread and butter of the conjugate system. It's what I use for myself. It's what I use for our clients to build our base. You can build whatever height box you want with that. Get an 18 pack of those, which costs $99 on Amazon Prime. Okay, you can do block pulls like this. You can do easily three different heights. You know, you can do one, two, three inch block pulls easily, if not higher, depending on your height. All right, there's me doing a one inch, one inch sumo. So let's say you set three different heights of that. Let's say you can do deficits with them. Let's say you don't want to stack them too high and do deep deficits. You only want to do a single one inch deficit. Okay. So for the sumo deadlift, that gives us what? three different block pull heights, normal sumo, and a one inch deficit. Just because of the pads. That's five different deadlifts. What about conventional? We can do the exact same thing. One, two, three inch block, one inch deficit, normal conventional. Gives us five 
different deadlifts using just the bar and the pads. That's 10 different deadlifts that we can max out on. It also gives you the option to rotate speed work. Let's say you want to do some slightly different variation because you only have raw weight. You're not set up to really hook bands or chains over the speed work. Most people are not. That takes a lot of band and chain. You could do deficits on them. You could do deficit deadlifts for at least a phase. You could do deficit sumos for a phase for one of your three-week pendulum waves. You have a lot of options. A lot of options there. All right. What about, what about the box squat? You can set whatever height box you want. You can take it to parallel. You go one, two, three, four inches below parallel. You can do a high box. You easily have five different box squat heights. For any given person, you could have four to five different heights of box squats. But let's say you only use four different heights. That's four different max effort lifts you can do. You easily have four different max effort squats you can do on the box squat with just the barbell using those pads because you can set the exact height and track them to separate maxes. What about your speed work? You could set your boxes to different heights. You could have a one inch below parallel or a two inch or a three inch below parallel. You could run different depths of boxes for different pendulum waves on your speed boxes. This gives you a lot of variation. Got a lot of variation. Okay. Now, in addition to the to the pads, you also have different squats we can do. We could do pause squats. We could do normal back squats. We could do pin squats. So let's say you have four different box squat heights, and then you have those other three that I just named. That's at least seven different max squats that you have access to with just a normal straight bar, just because of the, the those pads. So those pads go a long way, right? Those pads go a really long way. They've essentially given us four different box squats and then four different heights for two different types of deadlifts. They also allow us to do box deadlifts if we need to. It's just kind of a specialty tool that some people need. Well, and you still have the straight bar. What can we do for our other supplemental work? You could do good mornings. You know what? If we did nothing else, good mornings. Even if you don't have a way to set up and do hip thrusts, you can do glute bridges. All right. If we didn't have any other equipment, you don't have the awesome stuff like I have, the reverse hyper, the glute ham device. You still have good mornings. You could do glute bridges. Most of you out there are not strong enough to, to probably need much more than that, to be honest. Like, I'll be honest with you. I could get most of you, as a coach, I could program all that stuff and get any of you just about past a 400 squat. It's nice to have all this other equipment. As an advanced lifter, having all these bars, bands, and chains, it's nice. It gives me an advantage. But realistically, could you successfully run conjugate and get to an advanced strength level using... The basics? Of course you could. So, so what is it that we need realistically? You need a good rack, a really good barbell, bunch of plates, hopefully some bumpers in there, a bench, and one of those 18 packs off Amazon of these one inch Eva foam pads. $70 bench block. A couple of bands. All right, a couple of bands. Well, what happens if you want to take those bands and do speed work? Well, now we've got whole new waves and we have all new max effort exercises. See, you can add to it. You can accumulate bands over time too. Not necessary, but they'll be helpful. But you need a couple to get started, especially to be able to do face pulls, maybe some extra tricep press downs. But stop and think about it. There's a lot we can do here. This brings a lot to the table, and that doesn't take much equipment. It takes very, very little. But that's the main first editions. I would say at this point, having used all this different stuff and having all this equipment, 
the simplest and cheapest investments would be to get those pads and a bench block. That would allow people who have a basic rack set up and bar plates and a bench to successfully run conjugate. All right, guys, but well, that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.